What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be going over uh, Kaguya versus uh, Heart Madara and Heart Kakashi. Now, um, a lot of people have been talking about, oh, well, um, is she needed? Is she not needed? Why is she good? Why is she not good? Blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to stack her against the uh, top two heart units in the game. Um, now, Kakashi Madara are debatably first and second, or vice versa, depending how you want to do it. But um, yeah, so I'm pretty much going to be talking about uh, seeing how she stacks against them. So, uh, starting out, we have Madara. Now, Madara is a, uh, heart unit, obviously. Mid-range, uh, 80 calls, goes 32. His, uh, HP is 1798, which Kaguya's is way higher, so she wins that. His, um, attack is 1652, but, uh, with abilities, it goes up to 1800, which, um, as a mid-range unit hers is like 1900 as a short range unit so the, i just feel like i mean and you got to think about model came out last year like last april so a year ago literally like a year ago and he's pretty much like competing with her for attack which is kind of sad but whatever anyways going on to uh pvp stats 34,000 hp 2600 attack 265 speed now Kaguya's is, is uh she's definitely slower uh, by like 90 or about 100 speed 90 to 100 speed uh, Madara has about 300 more attack and then she has about uh, 1600 more HP so I mean like it's really good that she's tanky but it's like she has no damage reduction abilities and she has five chakras so she's just gonna sit there kinda I mean, like, def definitely, like, if you get her chakra and stuff, she's, like, you know, she's going to be good. But before that, mm, I don't know. Going on field and buddy, boost attack, restore HP, reduce damage, boost attack. Now, um, I'm going to have to give Madara the cake on those two simply because, like, she's short range. So that damage reduction is not that good. Uh, not a lot of people are going to be able to get it unless you're right on top of her. Uh, but, yeah, so going on to... Uh, Sync skill, sync with heart, reduce body damage, really good. Sync with all except heart, reduce skill damage, eh. Sync with all except mid-range, boost attack. Um, I'm not really sure whose is better, but uh, I know that healing for Kage is really good. And then sync with uh, all but heart is actually pretty decent for PvP. Um, as far as abilities go, I say Kage has better abilities, but uh, Madara's abilities are definitely really good. But they're just outdated, like 10% damage reduction isn't doing much you know what i'm saying 100 attack isn't doing much and then uh 20 percent on the ult isn't good for his jutsu going on to um 612 chakra she's 510 um six times attack she is 6.3 uh all enemies 100 percent chance of slip for eight turns neutralizes element fit so pretty much um i'd say kagi is just like a new like a better modera a newer better modera technically um Except she just has dumb healing. She's healing for like 700 a turn. So that's really, really good. But, uh, yeah, like her, her jutsus and everything, it's just, it's just definitely, it's better than Madara. Just everything she has is pretty much Madara, but better. Um, going on to, a, I almost said Akashi. Uh, shout out to my boys, uh, over at their Kuroko no basket. But, um, no, Kakashi, uh, is HP 1600. Hers is, what, 20, 2,500, so she's beating by, like, 900. Uh, again, he's a mid-range unit. 2,000 attack stat. So his attack is higher than hers as a mid-range unit. And she's a short-range unit, right? Oh, wrong one. Yeah, so that's a yikes, but, you know, whatever. Uh, going on to PvP stats, she 34,000 HP. 3600 attack and the 182 speed. I'm gonna have to get his Takagiya simply because, like, his HP, it like Madara has the same HP, right? But Madara also has like 80 more speed than him. He has a really high attack stat, but he has five chakra, and it's like he's so slow and he's not that tanky that uh, if he gets the, he can get taken out really, really easily before he gets a turn, especially with like all these units that have like 350, 60, 70 speed. Yeah, he's not. Nah. So Kagiya definitely takes it on that one. She is like six less speed uh, she's like a thousand two hundred less attack but her hp is definitely beating kakashi so field and buddy reduce damage uh dodge kakashi beats her 
because uh, his reduced damage is mid range, where hers is short range. Um, she still has the attack boosts, which are alright, but the attack boost isn't near as good as dodge. Dodge is just OP in this game. As much as I don't want it to be, so it is. So, sync with him, leave useless. Sync with heart, alright. Sync with that, useless. So, um, yeah, Kaguya beats him with the sync skills. Now, I will say his his first five abilities are dumb, like OP, dumb OP. First five abilities are amazing. Now, um, I feel like Kaguya and Kakashi do two different things. Like Kakashi's pure damage, and I feel like Kaguya is kind of like utility damage. Like she's damaged. Trust me, her ult is dumb, but I feel like she has a lot of utility too. So, um, I mean, I'm, I'm I don't really know who to give it to. Like forty percent is just a lot. And he's just doing a lot of damage. Going on to the Jutsus, 6.5 times attack to one enemy, increase your chance to dodge by 30%, 14 times attack to all enemies in range, and um, gives you 30% chance. I'm, I'm going to have to give the Jutsu to uh, Kaguya, but the ult, <sighs> with the 40% increase, he might be dishing out a little just under her. So, I mean, and his is AoE, and it's like a really, it's almost, va it's vast range, like, it's, it's almost full screen. It's full screen left to right. So um, I'm going to have to get the ult of Kakashi. But um, overall, like I said, just the, the fact that she can stand up to both of these units is proof that she's really, really good. So, um, you know, don't sleep on Kaguya. Do I recommend summoning on her? Uh, between her and Madara, Madara. I go, I go for Madara. Now, if you're looking at the featured units, Kaguya has the better featured units. Um... Maybe you need a heart unit, go for her. I don't know. I mean, it's up to you personally. But, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, like I said, it's ultimately your choice. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, Kage is really, really broken. She's really, really OP. Um, she's, she's underwhelming because she doesn't, like, outside of her healing, she doesn't do much. Like, short, it, it was kind of, it's, it's kind of like, uh, we got pain, right? Impact pain. He was, you know, long range. Everybody called him free to play Madara, blah, blah, blah. Then we got Blazing Fest Pain, short range. And it's like, yeah, he's five chakra. Uh, but it's like, it's, why, why, why does he have to, like, at least make him long range, dog. Uh, at least mid range. I don't know. Like, but, because, like, the free to play Kage is vast range. And I love the free to play Kage. Like, I don't even need this Kage. I got free to play Kage, so I'm chilling. Um, uh, and then, like, if we look right here, like, my my heart team is stacked anyways, for the most part. Like, like that's that's my... I, I got a Max Limbrick Chino. I have all the crystals. I just haven't did it yet. But my heart team is pretty much stacked. Like, yeah, the healing would be nice, but it's not needed. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever. Uh, Chino has higher attack stat than her. Like, at level 100, she's almost equal like she's off by like 200 which is kind of sad but whatever anyways um and she's mid-range which is pretty funny but anyways so yeah that's uh gonna be about it for this video be sure to give a like subscribe to your channel if you're new comment down below tell me if you guys see in the comment section below and with that being said i'll see you guys next time peace